collision alerts in CQG notify you with sound, a visual display, or both when a specific user's specified condition has been met. Welcome to an overview of CQG's condition alerts. This video walks you through the steps to setting condition alerts and setting alert-driven functionality in CQG. A condition alert notifies you if the conditions set for a symbol are met. The alert is reset when the restore signal condition is met. To add a condition alert from a condition applied to a chart, right-click the condition on the chart and select Set Condition Name Alert. Or left-click the Alerts Toolbar button and open the Conditions Alert. Type a name. Type a symbol. Right-click the signal box and click Set Signal. Click the condition. If there are no conditions listed, then create one by clicking the Define Conditions button. Click the Insert button. Click Close. The condition is displayed in the Signal box. Right-click the Preferences box if you want to change preferences, including the Recalculation setting. Right-click the Actions box and select Set Actions. On the Place Order tab, choose the account. Next, choose the symbol. You can place an order for a different market. Choose the side, buy, sell, or liquidate. Choose the size. Choose the order type. On the Sound tab, choose the sound you want played when the alert is triggered. Choose how long you want the audio alert to play. On the Display tab, select the windows you want opened when the alert is triggered. You can customize your settings so that when the alert is triggered, a chart opens, a time and sales display opens, and an order routing interface opens. Also, you can set the price alert to reset at the close of the bar, as well as use these settings for new alerts. On the Email tab, choose whether you want to send an email when the alert is triggered. Select a condition for the Restore signal box. Right-click the Preferences box if you want to change preferences, including the Recalculation setting. Enter any notes in the Notes box. Once the alert is triggered, it will look something like this. To silence the alert, click the Silence button. To reset the alert, click the Reset button. To show all past alerts of this type, click the Show History button. This concludes the video and overview of CQG's condition alerts. Thank you.